Welcome to Face Islam, a program dealing with the subjects that face Muslims every day. And I want to talk about people. And the word in Arabic is anas, the insan. The word insan in Arabic implies the human beings in general, male and female. Nisa is the women. But the word insan has a deeper meaning. When we begin to investigate it, we find that the root for this word, insan, also deals with the subject of forgetting. Ananasiya, I forgot. That's related to the word insan. Hmm. Also, it has an implication of the one who needs, needs to have relationships, the one who is needing to be with others. And also, all of that together is proven in Islam by a couple of things. First and foremost, we know in Islam that Almighty God pulled all of us out of the backbone of Adam. And when he did, we were, you know, tiny molecules probably at that time. But he pulled us all out, and he asked us, Am I not your Lord? <clears throat> and all of us said, Yes. Then he erased that. He made us forget. Allah made us forget that meeting with him, and we will not remember it until we meet him again on the Day of Judgment. But then it will be clear. And we'll be asked, What did we do with this life? And we'll say, I forgot. You bet. We forgot everything. But then when we see it clearly, we'll be saying, oh, just give us another chance. Let us go back. You know, let, let, let me go back in there. You'll see me. I'll do right. I, have, I swear to God I will. <laughs> swear to you I will. <laughs> but then really what would happen? Well, we'd have to go back in with that erased again and start all over. And we wouldn't do a thing different than what we did in this life. Because, see, each one of us has our own particular interest at heart. We each one have made our own choice way back, way back, right after Allah erased that meeting with him. Because when he did that, he gave us something called free choice. You can have whatever kind of choice you want to think about and to feel. Your thinking and your feeling is yours. Go ahead and do what you want to with it. It's yours. And he will not influence you unless you want to be influenced. The same is true of the devil. The devil is ready to influence you constantly, and he will influence you whether you want to be or not, but Allah will keep him from influencing you, provided you just follow a few simple steps. As a human, one of the insan, you and I, have free choice to do whatever you want with your feelings and whatever you want to do with your mind. Nobody can ever force you. Nobody can force you to love. Nobody can force you to hate. Nobody can force you to be kind and considerate. Nobody can force you to anger. Nobody can force you in these two areas, the heart and the mind, that's yours. But the choices you make are what you'll be asked about on the Day of Judgment. You're not going to be asked about what Allah had to happen here. <laughs> no. All that's happening in the universe, that's under his control. He controls that. He's the one that's doing that. Yes. And you don't have any willpower over that. But you've got all the choice you want to make. When something happens to you, what kind of attitude do you have? How do you reflect? How do you take it? What do you do with it? Do you get upset? Do you keep cool? When we're shooting programs for television, a lot of things happen. I make a lot of mistakes. We have other things that go wrong too, technical difficulties. 
So how do we respond to it? Do we get angry, jump up, walk out of the room? Well, if you do, that was your choice. Or if you're cool, calm, collected, you keep going. You get more work done, and people like you a lot better. But if you jump up and down and scream and holler and carry on, well, you don't get much work done, and you sure don't have many friends. So these are simple choices, aren't they? But there's a much bigger choice I'm talking about, isn't it? I'm talking about the choice that all of us have to make. Do you believe there is God, that he's one, that he has no partners? Do you believe that he created everything? And do you know that you have a responsibility in front of him? Do you want to do what God wants you to do? Do you really want to do God's will on earth? Do you want to give your free choices over to him? Give up your lust and your desire? Or do you want to continue doing what you want to do? Like that song, I did it my way. Something to think about. And while we're thinking about it, let us remember that we have a purpose on this planet. That purpose is to get through this short little life, to get to the next life, and where are we going to go? And that's going to be totally dependent on what? On what choices we make. So let's don't forget, let's remember that we are insane, not insane, but insane, working toward going to paradise. And that's Face Islam. <laughs>